How's it going everyone? Today we're going to start learning about one of Python's most popular and powerful libraries, NumPy, which is also known as numerical Python. NumPy is used primarily for fast and efficient numerical computing, especially with large multidimensional arrays and matrices. The very first step to using NumPy is installing it via pip in the terminal using pip install NumPy. So here we'll type in pip install NumPy. I already have it installed, so it's going to tell me that the requirement is already satisfied. Then we can import it using import NumPy as NP. Now NP is the naming convention we always use for NumPy. Please stick to this as it makes it much easier to share your code with other developers. Now that we've installed and imported NumPy into our project, let's move on to arrays. What exactly is an array? The NumPy docs define an array as a structure for storing and retrieving data. And arrays can be of different dimensions. For example, we might have a vector, which will equal a NP array that contains a one dimensional array. One, two, three, four, five, and six. This is one dimension. A two dimensional array, which is also known as a matrix, will look like this. As you can see, we have some nested data. Hence why we consider it to be of two dimensions. Also, when we print this vector and we print the matrix, what you're going to notice in the console is some interesting formatting. The vector is just going to look like a simple list, but you will recognize it as a NumPy array because there are no commas anywhere. And the matrix will be formatted like this. Here we have a row and vertically we have columns. Now most NumPy arrays are going to have restrictions. Let me list some of them. Starting with the first restriction, all elements of an array must be of the same data type. Here we created a vector of type integer. All of these are integers. And I'm going to remove the matrix for this example, because I want to show you what happens if we were to insert a string or a character such as X. This will still run, but it's going to implicitly convert everything into a compatible data type. So now everything inside here is the same type as X. Otherwise, if you were to add a float such as 6.6, .6, it's going to convert every data type into a float because once again, all the data must be of the same type. Moving on, once you've created an array, the total size of the array can't change. So here we have an array that contains six elements. If you want to change the size of an array, you will always have to create a new array. So right now we have a vector here, and if we print it, we get the vector back. But if we want to append some sort of element to it, we're going to have to create a new vector, which will equal a np.append method. And we want to append to our current vector 10 and 20. Then we can print this new vector. And when we run this, you should see that the new vector will contain the new values. But there's no way to append to the original vector. That method does not exist, and you can't remove from it either. Although it's important to mention that we can still modify the array. So if we want to change the value at the index of three, we can do that, but I'll show you how that's done later. And finally, the data must be rectangular as quoted from the docs, which means it must have the same number of columns. Otherwise it's considered to be jagged or jagged. Do let me know in the comment section down below how to pronounce that. When I record, I just forget how things are pronounced. I think it's pronounced jagged or jagged. Anyway, to demonstrate what I mean, I'm going to recreate my matrix, which contains two elements that contain the same amount of elements. So here, if we were to print the matrix, you'll see that we will get this as an output, which is quite nice and convenient. But if one of the items inside our matrix contained less items than one of the other items, NumPy would not understand how to handle this and it would tell us exactly what we did wrong. Every nested array inside this matrix must have three elements or it's not going to work. So this must have three elements. So those were a few of the restrictions that we have with NumPy arrays. And all of these restrictions are used to guarantee the speed and efficiency of the NumPy array. In general, the more specific you are about what you want to do with your data, the faster it will be to perform those operations on it. In Python, the native list type we have is ultra flexible. We can add any type of element to it and as many as we want. But because of this flexibility, we lose a lot of speed and performance. So this was our very first lesson on NumPy. 
I hope you guys are excited for this series because we have a lot more to learn.